friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we're the Leffersons, and today, we have a Bivity unboxing. But not just one. But not just one, we're unboxing two Bivity boxes. Boop, boop. And that is due to the fact that we've just had a lot going on in the last few mm -hmm. months, and I've gotten over some sicknesses going on. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm still a little sick. I'm still a little that, sick. That flu so, type A won't go away. I had influenza A and it is mm -hmm. not going away. Mm -hmm. I'm over it. So I've had people at work that are still fighting through it. Yeah. So. It's anyways. It's been a fun time. Anyways, so we have last month's box that we still haven't opened. And I also got this month's box. So I figured we would just open them in the same video. Why not? Because why not? We haven't done a double unboxing nah, in a while. Nah. So. So we should probably talk about what Bibbity is. Yeah. Garrett, do you want to talk about what Bibbity is? Oh, I need quick? to talk about mm, yes. Bibbity. Bibbity, yes. if you don't know, is a subscription service specializing in boxes. Now, these boxes are themed to many different things. Mine are to Harry Potter and Star Wars and Marvel. Mm -hmm. And Alyssa's are usually tuned more to the Disney, Disney side. Disney. Yes. Um, and they also have a bunch of different price ranges, starting from what's what's a Sparkle Box? The Sparkle Box, I think, is only $10 a month. And that's like and stickers and magnets. So the boxes go all the way up to, I think, like $200 a month or something. Yeah, so you can do a bunch of, there's a bunch of different levels, depending on what your price point or what your budget is. Something that sets Bippity apart is these boxes are to your preferences or whoever you're buying them for. Yeah. And we are brand ambassadors for Bippity, so we do have a coupon code that will get you 10% off your first box and a sparkle box so after watching this or our playlist which we always leave linked down below head on over and jump on the bippity box bandwagon honestly it's amazing if you guys like any fandoms whatsoever especially disney or like mm -hmm. harry potter star wars this is like the best subscription box. We absolutely love Bibbity. We've been doing, we've been getting Bibbity boxes since before we were brand ambassadors. Amen. So we absolutely love this service. They're a great and company too. They are Family such a owned. great company. Yes. Ah. We didn't tell you our coupon code. It's the Leffersons. We probably put it earlier, but it is the Leffersons. So you can go onto their website. I'll leave everything down below. We should stop talking. We might talk a little bit more about the company once yeah. we start opening the boxes. So, speaking of different price points, I'm assuming these are both different price point boxes, but I, I don't know. know. So we're gonna open them and see. Let's start with last month's box. The, the old box. It's been sitting here for far too long. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> sitting on top of it is the packing slip, which tells you what's in the box and how much everything is. So you and don't wanna look in there until the very end. Yes, and this is the imagination uh, level box. So that retails for $99, that makes I believe. Sense. It retails for $99. It's a nice like mid-level box, mm -hmm. especially if you want like some high quality items, but also you could get like some not, like you could get a bunch of different little things or you could get like a big high quality item. Yeah, and so. that's something you can select in the whole yes. process. Yes, when you put in your preferences. Okay, so I'm just gonna dive right in. That's what it looks like. Just gonna open it up and actually, I should also mention before I open this, because I see the first item, they have a, we a wish list feature. I was gonna ask you, did you put anything on your wish list? And this was from last month, and I did actually wish list a few things for Garrett. Oh, so you I already me. like the first thing I see is for you, so oh. I feel like you should just open the first item. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get it out for oh. you. Which one's this? Charging Wally. Okay, if you don't know, I love Wally. I my, I am Show them the box I, first. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the charging Wally and the box was kind of was screwy anyway. Yeah, so the box has been sitting around for a while. We don't I we, we don't keep our uh, Funko Pops in their box because Who has uh, room for that? Yeah. No. <laughs> but I love this because it has his little Wally out there charging himself and that's Literally one of my favorite scenes. I, every single time I'm like, ha, ha, because he goes up there, he opens it up, and it's like ding, 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 ding. And then it does. Did you know that the sound is actually the original Macintosh startup sound? The oh, that would, that would make sense. Yes, yes. They, that, they yeah. used that. So uh, this is it. fantastic. Thank Wally. you. I know. I put thank, it on the. I, I, I was going to thank you guys. No. I was going to thank Bippity, but you put it on. I put there. it on your wish list. I oh, knew you wanted it. Change, honey. I know. Is this the one you almost bought the other day? 
No, it isn't. Okay. The one I almost bought the other day, they have like a Target exclusive right Ooh. now of Wally and Eve. It's like a double uh, Funko set. I think I have that Eve, but uh, there's the rest of the series there. And this is a Wally Jumbo. I don't know if I'm cool enough for a jumbo. Uh, I also put the Wally jumbo on the wish list. I don't think it's in this box. Maybe that'll be my next like, but big box. But I, I did know. put it on the wish list. Well, thank you for thinking of me, Alyssa. I know, how cute. A little bit of magic for you. Love so it. selfless. I love it. I love that for you. <laughs> I love that for you. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so these, I believe, are from the... Walt Disney World Vault Collection, I'm pretty sure. I'd believe it. They are the 50th anniversary Walt Disney World, yep, it is from the Vault Collection. They're buttons. Buttons. Or, yeah, buttons, right? Yes, they literally say buttons on there. What are these? And there's a bunch of different kinds. So you have like Mickey with the little Walt Disney World. You've got the little Mickey logo there. What's on this one? Oh, like a bunch of different Fab Five characters. I don't think the stickers Mickey. probably that. Yeah, these are supposed to like look like the old school when Walt Disney World first started, mm -hmm. like the old school logos and stuff like so that. So if, you, if you've been sleeping under a rock, Walt Disney World celebrating its 50th anniversary, mm -hmm. and oh, show the back again. Yeah. So this little sticker right there, that means it's legitimately from the parks. And that's another great thing about Bibbidi is the products are from the parks. They are legitimate. They are also from fantastic brands. Like and different small shops. Yes. yes. And yeah. it's, it's you know you're going to get quality. It's not like yeah. they scraped it off the bottom of the barrel kind of stuff. Exactly. So as you can see, this is from the vault collection, mm -hmm. which is like a big deal. So <laughs> this is so cool. Thanks, it's, ladies. It's a big deal. OK, see something at the bottom. Bottom. I know. There's a little baggie over here first. There's before a little you, baggie? Yeah, do, do that first. Oh, you open that. Oh, okay. You should open that. <laughs> Apparently, it's my box, too. <laughs> no, so, but that's, like, for both of us. It is. Alyssa and I really like pins. We got into a pin. Pins were kind of the first thing that we really, I don't want to say bonded, but, like, really got but, into at yeah. Disney. Yeah. Before and, we even started the channel, I think in our honeymoon, we bought our first like pins, pins back in 2016. Yeah. yeah. And it's kind of grown from there. Yeah. And we are by no means like pin aficionados. No. But uh, this is a Kite Tales, uh, which they are canceling or reducing showtimes. I yeah. Uh, we don't know what's going on. The showtimes kind of stopped. Yeah. Not sure what's and happening with that. So if you're not familiar with Kite Tales, I would not blame you. It is the daytime show that takes place at Animal Kingdom. It's it is. Cute, though. It's interesting. They play music. It's cool. The yeah. stuff is big, uh, but I can understand why not. But uh, this has some uh, balloon inspired. Are, are they balloons? They're like. Kite. They're kites. I'm an idiot. Kites. That's why it's called Kite Tails. Yeah. Uh, but uh, look at the rainbow Rafiki. And then uh, this is what they look like kind of as they fly through the This sky. is a mystery box, yes. too, by the way. So you have two mystery pins in there. It's kind of funny that we got that because we haven't even put our, our Disney haul yet, but we actually purchased a few of these hey! boxes. Spoiler alert, that'll be in our Disney haul as well. Open yours. Let's open it at the same time. Okay. There's a tail on them, so well, you can mine just, is like... like Pointy. It's, it's a kite tail. Oh my gosh. Okay, on the count of three. Don't get, don't get. I already started looking at mine. I'm sorry. What is yours? Oh, I see. Oh, mine is. Oh, that's cool. It is cool. It's an elephant. Is It doesn't look like Dumbo, Oh, yeah. Though. No, no, no. That's an elephant from the Jungle Book one. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Duh. Look at the details on this pin, though. That is pretty cool. These are cool pins, and I like that he's, like, holding a little palm tree on the bottom. Like, I'm not angry about it. No, I actually really like these. Yeah. I like the details on them. That's really fun. And then I oh, got... I like yours. You got Zazu. Oh, that's Zazu. See, that's, Zazu. Why, that's why I married her. Because I, yeah. I kept on wanting to call him... I'm like, what's it? I kept on wanting to call him Iago. And I'm like, that's not it. <laughs> no, that's but, definitely Zazu. Yeah, but I really like this art style, to be 100% yes. honest with you. I like it a lot. Like, this is a cool looking pin. And, uh, yes. uh, let me get the back of it. It's just a normal backing of the pin, but, uh. These are open editions. Yeah. So you can still get them at the parks. I, I believe we, did we only oh, see cool. them in Animal Kingdom? I don't I think know. We only saw them at Animal Kingdom. I could totally get down with uh, King Louis. Um, oh, this was the Chaser. Hey! This was the Chaser pin. So if you're new to pins, Chasers are like more rare, right? They're like harder to get. Yeah. I don't know. But I also like Pua. I like Pua. I like the Simba. I like the Pua one and the Simba one, and I like the turtle. These might these might have to be uh, not a completion, but a. This would be a fun. A fun collection to add for like our Animal Kingdom yeah. pins. Cool. So beans. fun. I oh. like that. I'm 
sorry. That's fine. And that's what <laughs> I like. Fun. That's one thing I like about I like getting pin boxes and yeah. these kind of things is because it's like a surprise and a surprise. Well, yeah, it's a mystery and mystery a mystery. Mystery and a mystery. Okay. It's a mystery cubed. I think there's one more item. Square root? I it's believe, probably a bag. I believe I also put this item on my wish list. And I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about it. Let me open it up. Okay, that is... <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. This is so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. Do you want me to hold it while you talk? It's a lounge fly bag. I will be your shelf. Yes, you can shelf it for me. Thank you. Okay, this is a Winnie the Pooh inspired Disney lounge fly bag. It is also a crossbody, which is a little bit different than like the typical lounge fly bags that you have. This is the scene in the movie where he is literally stuck in Rabbit's house and can't get his booty out of Rabbit's hole. Who can relate? <laughs> So you can see, I love the detail of this. You've got Christopher Robin, you've got Rabbit. It says Rabbit's house there. What does this say? Don't feed the bear. That's adorable. He's got some little, a little, well, this is supposed to, I think, represent like a little honey pot. That's a good, that's a good integration yeah. of the, uh, of the little clip yeah, there. Yeah, that's cute. And then of course, as Garrett showed you, his butt is actually in the back. It's, it's a and booty. And I don't know if you guys can see this part. On the very bottom, it's like engraved a little bit. It says, oh, bother. I would say it's embossed. Embossed. That's yes. probably the better word. That's the real word. That's the real word. So I'm going to show you the inside of it because it's just a it's cavern. Fun. This thing's huge. Oh, and this is also a 95th anniversary bag. So the inside of it is just one big, huge, just cavern uh, to mm. lose your stuff. But it <laughs> has this really cute lining on the inside. Yes, and it is the 95th anniversary of it. Um, but this is so easily a park bag. Oh, for sure. An afternoon or morning oh, park Oh, for sure. Bag. It does have a little zippered compartment in there. Yeah. A little zippered compartment if you need to put some small items in like, there. Because, like, when we go, we, we you know, obviously we have our camera, and a, but our camera's small, thankfully. Yeah. Um, but you could easily fit everything we need in this. For oh, for day. sure. Especially, like, if we're just going for an afternoon or a night. And it is a crossbody, so it comes with the straps. You put them on the sides and you can wear it as a crossbody, which is definitely like if I'm not if I'm not wearing a backpack, crossbody is my preferred bag. So. I do kind of wish that there was like a little handle. That'd be adorable. Like the handle would be cute, but I would never use the handle. Or a loop. Yeah. Maybe that Again, still I would never actually use that. So like I'm okay without it. I'm loving this color color design I too. I know, and blue like mm -hmm. they always say it brings out my eyes cuz I have blue eyes. Do you guys see? Stop you're scaring them. Anyways, this is adorable. <laughs> I love this bag. And this is a win. That this is was a such win. a fun box. This was a great box. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's, uh, the what's... imagination box. Is that it? That's it. Cool. So let's see. This uh, was really good. All right. So what's inside? The Imagination Monthly subscription box. And it was curated by none other than the lovely B -B Becky. Thank you, Becky. No. She curates a lot of our boxes yeah, she and does. she kills it every single time. Oh, right. The Disney Parks exclusive Disney Kite Tales, a festival of the sky mystery pin box retails for $17.99. Very nice. Um, next, the Disney Parks 50th anniversary Walt Disney retro pack of five buttons retails for $14.99. Uh, and then we have the Funko Pop Disney Pixar charging Wally 1119 <laughs> vinyl figure, and that retails for $12 even. Love that. Love that little magic for Gary. That's going to be Just living in my office. Buddy. Just mm -hmm. a little buddy. Kids come into my office and they're like, you have toys? I'm like, yes. All Typical right. Principal. And last but not least, the Lounge Fly Disney Winnie the Pooh 90th Anniversary Peak a Pooh crossbody bag oh, retails for $65. And you heard me right. It said Peek a Pooh. And the total retail value of your box is $109.98. Awesome. So this box does retail for $99. You are getting your value value in this box mm -hmm. and honestly you're getting all these items straight to you especially if you can't get to the parks yeah this is perfect if you want a little bit of like a discount on buying like big items like lounge fly items and things like that this is perfect and you also get 10 percent off your first box using our code the levers and, and sparkle, a free sparkle box. box gotta love it also also this is customized to your preferences. To your so, preferences, not and mine. And if you really like are specific with your preferences, even like listing specific things that you want, they will crush it. And the that, wish the list. Wish list yep. The wish list is perfect. Mm -hmm. I just wish list a ton of things. Mm -hmm. So I know that like I'm guaranteed 
to get items in my box that I want by mm. using the wish list feature. There you know we go. I mean? Most likely. So yeah. yes, this is perfect. Thank you ladies so much. And we have another box, so we should probably continue with our next box. All right, so if you need a drink, a rest, or stretch, <laughs> go ahead, uh, go, She's just come back. Her. She's going to get a drink. Uh, we're going to go on to our second box here. Yes. So uh, you should be on your way back from the kitchen or fridge or wherever you are. And welcome back. We're on to <laughs> box number two. And this is what the typical Bibbidi boxes look like. They're so cute. They're adorable. I love that they just like have all sorts of different Disney park icons yeah. on there. It has the truck on there. We love the truck. You we love, love the truck. We love the truck. I love the truck. And I love that they put the truck, like, even for different seasons, like oh, yeah. spooky season. They have, like, a spooky truck. Christmas spooky. season. Spooky they have a season. Christmas truck. We're all in the spooky season right now, considering Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is coming back. And we're planning to we're go. We're planning to go. Stay tuned when we do our park up, or our life update. Okay. This is what it looks like inside. Again, with the packing slip, Garrett's going to look inside to see what type of box this one is. Ooh, it's an ultimate magic box. So the ultimate magic box retail is for $119. Hey. So this is like a step above the imagination box if you want a little bit more luxury. So let's see what the comparison is. Let's see. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna set this down because I can already see an item. Okay. And this is also an item that I wish listed. So thank you ladies. This is such a, should I start with that? No, no, let's not start with that. Let's no. put it aside. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. Is that, is that one of those shoulder buddy <laughs> things? Okay, good, it's not. Oh my gosh, it is a shoulder buddy. Oh my. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, ladies. I think I already have this. Only because when it first came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. So this is now my second. Um, they obviously know me very well. Do you see my shirt? Oh my God, yeah, it's perfect for your shirt. Where's the, where I need The it? magnets in there. This is, when I said magnet buddy, they have magnets that go under, that, that go inside your shirt. Like this goes on the underside and then his yeah, little booty's like, got a, like right here. a magnet and it goes, boop. And now he's magnetized. So he can like magnetize or like stick or like hang on your shoulder, literally like that. He's adorable, love Orange Bird. And obviously you ladies know me very well because I already purchased this for myself. So there we <laughs> when go. When it like first came out and, and it does have that sticker on there because Ooh, yeah. you can only get this at the parks. Legit. So, very adorable, very adorable. We love to see it. Okay, okay. next. Yeah. There is a box on the side. Mm -hmm. Looks like a Jim Shore box. <gasps> what? I don't want to like, I don't want to see. Okay. So actually, I think maybe, you're good. Should you open this? Uh, sure. You should open it. Okay. You should open it. I'm going to open it. Because I know the next item's for me. So whatever is inside of here, I'm sure you'll love. We love Jim Shores, by the way. What is Jim Shore, Alyssa? This is what the Jim Shore boxes look like. They are red. They do say Disney Traditions Jim Shore on the top. They are little figurines that are very detailed. We have a ton of Jim Shores back here that oh. we absolutely love. And so... It's not for me. Is that for you? No. What is it? It's solidly not for me. It's solidly not... What is it? What is it? It is Stitch in a pineapple. If you didn't know and you're catching up, Alyssa is a kindergarten Oh my teacher. God, I'm so excited. I really, really wanted this one. And her the theme of her classroom is pineapple so she has pineapple literally everything it's amazing i will say we are not huge fans of stitch in general no he's growing though he's growing like he's kind of cute right he's he's just a little rebel and we love him for that but this is going straight to my classroom yeah. i'm gonna bring it there like tomorrow yes. i'm so excited he is so cute. And this, I can't wait to show my students. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's adorable. And this is titled Pineapple Pal. I love it. That is adorable. Oh my God, I love it so much. I love the detail <gasps> down there in the, uh, the, the scales. I just never thought I was going to get him. And now I have him. He's pretty adorable. Ow! He's so cute. We love it. <laughs> I did put in my preferences like anything like pineapple related. Yes, like Disney pineapple. Cause I have like behind my desk, I have a whole like Disney pineapple display. She ain't lying. So I'm so excited to add him. I'm gonna have to bring him. I'm gonna have to bring him to school tomorrow. I'm taking my wallet to school. Possible. So we're both gonna be bringing 
toys to school tomorrow. That's what we do. We love it. Okay, I think there's... Is that it? I think there's one more item. Oh my, what is this? I wish listed this. Clearly, I was not consulted on this wish list pick. Are you judging my bag? I'm, I'm not not. Um, what? This bag's adorable. <laughs> do you, do you hear that? Oh my gosh. Is the mic so picking that up? Cute. It's so cute. Okay. So we showed you a lounge fly bag in my last box. I am now the owner of two new lounge fly bags because this is a lounge fly backpack. And if you can see who's on it, it's Chip and Dale, and they are in popcorn buckets, they are holding donuts, they are in ice cream cones, they are in, they're like hiding behind popsicles, they're putting little cherries on top of the sundae, or maybe trying to eat the cherries on top of the sundae. <laughs> this is such a cute bag, and like, I am obsessed with donuts. I am obsessed with ice cream Hold and on. popcorn. Uh, the inside of this is... I, didn't, I don't know what the inside is. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love this <laughs> so much. Look at the inside. It's this bright blue and it says Chip and Dale like a sundae with chocolate dripping down it with a cherry. I love it so much. This. Oh my God, I love it so much. This has literally just brightened my day. I was kind of like not feeling good this morning, kind of feeling a little under the weather. And this has just brought me back to life. I kind of like that the, it has this, this brown color. Yes. So it's kind of, it can like transition between seasons. Yes. I, do people think about that? I, I don't know. It. I guess like we, we didn't really talk about the features. There are little pouches on both sides, which cannot, it cannot fit a water bottle or something, but I do like putting like my phone in the side pocket. There's foam in the front pocket. Yes. <sighs> but you can fit like little things in here. Sometimes I put like some pins in here. Your phone. I put like, well, I usually put my phone on the side, oh, but yeah. I usually put like uh, wet wipes in here, hand sanitizer, like things that I need easy access to. Yep. And then does it have a... Thing in the thing? It does yep. have a little pouch back here as well. But I like that the inside is uh, brightly colored because it's hard to sometimes see things whenever you get into the right. bag. It's very uh, true. So th it will create a nice contrast. So there's also a crossbody, a crossbody bag that goes with this. And it's like a huge donut with like Chip and Dale. So I was like debating like, do I want that or do I want this? And I chose the backpack. That's a that's probably a more uh, well, and wise it's perfect because then I got that crossbody. So we have one crossbody, one backpack. Oh my god. We have we. one crossbody and one backpack. Okay, we friends. I'm pretty sure in a very recent video, you said that you enjoy wearing my lounge fly bags. I'm not, I'm not gonna enjoy. So. That. Don't go back on what you said. Don't, I don't be a say that I enjoy them. He wears them sometimes. No, so. not like casually. No, but you will you will gladly like wear it for me for a few hours in the parks if because I Because I I care so much about your comfort. <laughs> Anyways, Disney lounge fly bag. This is adorable. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You're Another ready? amazing box. Ready for the packing slip? Yes. All right, so this is the Ultimate Magic Monthly Subscription Box. Your box was curated with love by Amanda. Amanda, yep. thank you. It's and been a while since Amanda's done it. The Disney Traditions Jim Shore Stitch and Pineapple Pineapple Pal figure retails for $45. I think this is my favorite item. I'm I literally so. so excited about that. The Disney Parks exclusive Orange Bird Shoulder Plush retails for $19. So cute. So cute that I already have him. <laughs> and last but not least, the Loungefly Disney Chip and Dale Snackies All Over Print Mini Backpack retails for a cool $70, which brings your total retail value of your box to $134.99. Yes. And it retails for what? It retails for 119 so again, you're getting more for your value than yep. what you're paying for the box. Yep. And I also wanted to say, technically we got less items in this box than we got in the Imagination box. But? But, when you are filling out your preferences, and really you can do either, I think I have surprised me, you can choose two different options. You can choose to have quality over quantity, so more items that are at a lesser value versus less items for more value, 
or you could choose quality over quantity, which this would be considered more of a quality over quantity considering I'm getting three items that are worth a little bit more than what your typical item would be worth in, if you were to purchase something in the park. So this is more of a quality over quantity versus the imagination is maybe more of a quantity over quality. I hope that makes sense. You can also put in your preferences, maybe you could put surprise me. I think that's what I have, like I don't care, surprise me. Um, but really you can just be like, whatever you wish list, they will, they will figure it out for you. But oh my goodness, what two amazing boxes those were, right? Weren't those so magical, everyone? If you want a baby box, you can go down into our description, check it out. You can use our code, the Leffersons, for 10% off your first box and a free sparkle box. Plus it lets them know that uh, we reppin'. Yes, we brought you, we brought you. We too. brought you, we, we, we took you. You can even purchase this as a gift. Yes. If someone's birthday is coming up. Today is technically Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy belated Mother's Day to everyone. Yep. If you want a belated, to give a belated Mother's Day gift to someone, this is the perfect opportunity. Father's Day is coming up. Guys can also get this box. Garrett loves these boxes as well. We're going to leave all that linked down below so you can go yes. check out our playlist. Yes, you can check out all the other boxes that we have opened. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think we've said enough, right? Yeah. Like, have we convinced you yet? You need a bibbity box, go. okay? So, thank you ladies so much. Thank you to Becky and Amanda yeah. and all the other bibbity yeah. ladies for these two amazing boxes. And the bibbity boys. And the bibbity boys. There yeah, are a few too. boys in the family that are behind the magic mm -hmm. too, so thank you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite item was out of these two boxes. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell icon because uh, we're gonna have some updates coming at you. And yeah, there's uh, some big videos coming this week. Yeah, so vlogs too. Yeah, we're, we're finally gonna put out our Disney vlogs starting okay. very okay. soon. Just, I'm so sorry. Just go on the journey with us, friends. <laughs> we're a little inconsistent, but it's okay. You mm -hmm. guys love us, anyways, right? Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. See you later.